We are live. Yeah, welcome back, everyone. And uh, we will now start the part two of this uh, dialogue about uh, the future of leadership. And uh, now we'll try to be a little more, uh, what can we say, uh, specific mm -hmm. uh, about uh, what we actually can do ourselves uh, to take leadership of our of our own life and how that will uh, uh, help us creating the future we want. Yeah, exactly, Stin. Like, well, what what can I do? You do, and you, of course, you listening. Yeah, <laughs> there you are, the listeners. Yeah. So uh, it's actually about what can you do yourself? What can you do together? Mm. Uh, like, in mm. the in the smallest uh, mm -hmm. team or community or family, and 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 how will that uh, create a direction actually uh, for for us mm. uh, that will more, be more. Uh, uh, fruitful or uh, more regener regenerative as we have talked about before uh, it actually doesn't matter what we what we call it I will say no. uh, it's more about that I what I what I have uh, landed in is that it's for me it's really an uh, really important to understand uh, what kind of guiding principles will do I need to to be more to be more easy for me to lead myself in the right direction i will say so what what steps have you taken in your life uh, uh, to uh, be more aware and, and conscious about the direction that we need to go as a few cap as a captain future yeah f for my part this will be i've started like almost from zero and then uh, I've been on a 12-year journey, quit my jo well, job in the IT industry to explore uh, how would I, from the beginning, said save the planet, but that's just the narrative I started to become Captain Future. So for me, it has been an exploration in, of course, a lot of the mind and learning about myself, the planet, uh, uh, social things, uh, science things, sustainable things. I've focused a, a lot of uh, myself, the cognitive uh, skills, perspective skills, wisdom skills, uh, and things like that. Because I, I went from zero, zero mm. to hundred in in that process and journey. I was standing still almost. But before. already, already now you have uh, bring so many new uh, uh, words and term <laughs> terminologies or what you can call it to the table here, and <laughs> and uh, probably you have make a lot of people confused already yeah. about about it i mean <laughs> so just, let's unconfuse them <laughs> yes i mean it just try to, I, I will try it to he see if i can summarize a little like mm. that is it's a journey mm. where you try to uh, explore things mm. that make you more conscious more aware mm. understanding the world better understanding yourself better so, mm. so some kind of self awareness and 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 and, and also also practicing uh, daily tools mm. to make this happen i mean mm. it's not just uh, reading a book it also it's like a, it's like a more training i will say yeah practice uh, practice practicing or training uh, mm. uh, doing things uh, it, it's not it's not just about sit and think i i would say <laughs> it's more about doing things because doing things uh, something happens when we do things and especially if we do things in a specific direction. Yeah. So uh, try to uh, make it as clear and uh, and un easy to understand as possible for us. To what steps have you taken that you think is the most necessary or important steps that you have taken to put you in the right direction, as you think is the direction to a more regenerative future, or mm. or what we would like to call it. Yeah. So like. Uh, I've been exercising my whole life. Uh, I played a lot of floorball and then I started doing gyms 20 years ago. And then I stepped that up. Like when I when I got a lot more, a lot more time, I start, uh, went to the gym more often, and much more biking and walks. I, I had a dog, so long walks every day and things like that. So I took care of my body mm. and went to the gym, what we will call the the physical gym or the muscle gym mm. and stuff like that and mm. we we all recognize that today we know it's good for us and many people do it regularly and many people say that they're going 
do it regularly every new year but don't yeah, but we but week. even they they know that this mm. is something they're supposed to do or is good for them even if they don't do it so we know that going to the g- gym is good mm. the physical gym and, but the the muscles and the, uh, like s- physical stamina is just one part of uh, our body we we have uh, we have our bri- brain that, that that has one part cognitive skills one part social skills and one part what we could call wisdom skills. Cognitive skills is easy. We teach them in school, mm. math, thinking, mm. and uh, analyzing, like uh, solving problems and things like that. It seems that social skills and wisdom skills is little more uh, difficult to understand uh, uh, because the other one, we all, most of us have already tried that. Mm. Most of us has tried exercising or uh, at least, mm. and, 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 and most of us has gone in school and, 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 and tried these cognitive uh, skills yeah so but but you 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 bring up two other uh, skills here wisdom skills and and social skills social skills maybe it's understandable uh, uh, like kind of emotional intelligence or social mm. intelligence like that but uh, if we uh, if we just if we start with a wisdom uh, training or wisdom gym what 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 can you say about that and why should we do uh, that? I would start with the other okay. social skills Sorry. because they have a clear narrative yeah, okay. I can explain in my brain. Okay. Uh, so I've just been diagnosed last summer with uh, autism level one. That's the mild one. That's what's called Asperger's before. That means that they have impaired some uh, different social skills. Uh, growing up, I was always an extrovert. I liked to be in the center and getting photos, but it was so, I was always shy, so I never said anything. I was always silent in that thing. So I'm an extrovert, where I was a shy one, and I had no social skills, and I had very few friends until 12 years ago. And I hated public speaking, was the most fearful thing in my life mm. and stuff like that. But I started challenging myself. I started went into meetings. Uh, my friend, my year, Gustafsson, signed me up to talk in front of a lot of people in her social media club in Gothenburg. And I did my first talk there in January 2012 in front of people. It was horrifying, I remember. Mm not sleeping for a week and things like that and but slowly i learned like social skill like talking to people interacting socially looking people in the eye you know things that as i as an autism was never trained in and doesn't didn't learn naturally yeah. in itself so i started training myself and challenging myself in things like social skill acting, interacting networking being a good friend i, I was a uh, like not i had friends and stuff like that but i wasn't aware that uh, I, I took a lot and didn't give much. Uh, in uh, I was maybe giving a lot. I hosted p- with dinner and stuff like that. Mm. But I didn't give socially. I didn't give compliments and things like right. that. Uh, mm. And hugs. And I, so I became much more aware of this. So, and slowly I started to become more social. But so so uh, if you've never done this, mm. or a lot of people think this is difficult, I mean... Mm. public speaking and, and social interaction and like that so how, uh, and how, being, how, how can you train that yeah be, be, be being conscious of that you can like exercises in your daily life family workplace give compliments mm. do thing, do social things like even touch people and hugging but like how, it's, it's part of being social but you can also like take a course in it and do i've been doing for the last four years now we're doing youtube sessions zoom sessions where we come together in a Zoom room and exercise a lot of skills at the same time, social skills, uh, right. wisdom skills and stuff like that. So you can like go to a Zoom room and you can talk to other people. You can look, you, you don't look them in the eye directly, but there's like the nexus. It's like the gym. But it, you're not practicing the life skill, but you're practicing um, the skills you need to then do social interaction live afterwards. That. But how did you know where to start? I didn't. I just fumbled my way around because right. nobody told me where to start. And I mean, I just saying like that. Okay, uh, I will start to be more uh, good friend or giving yeah. compliments or uh, mm. whatever. How 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 did you know that that was the the right direction? Yeah, I, I read books. Oh, I right. watched mm. lectures. I heard. Okay. I went to to con- conference and heard people talking about it and stuff like that. We had a fantastic uh, type of event at Maria Gusen. It was a start called Web Coast. There was a uh, unconference where everyone shows up and you practice uh, doing all kinds of social exercises right. together. So you you had you you had some kind of friends or communities that mm. you could uh, be a part of, but yeah. you, but you also uh, trial and error. If I understand. trial and error, learn mm. part of the learning. Yeah, okay. reading, practicing, mm. trial and error, mm. all the things we know. Play, play is. 
play and it's really interesting mm. because this is the I mean this is the way we we learn things yeah this is the, that's mm. the normal way of we learning or the mm. best way of mm. learning is trial and error of mm. course and, mm. and and being a part of a community mm. that you help each other become better in learning mm. uh, and, and and also having some kind of feedback yeah because that's mo i think is the most difficult thing to get to in 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 today's society have both uh constructive uh, positive uh, and and uh, and uh, and 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 other kind of feedback that we uh, actually can uh, help us develop our skills better uh, so mm. uh, that community, I think, will be uh, something that we need, mm. actually, uh, a feedback community. Yeah. Uh, some kind of... Uh, a safe place where you can... safe place, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. But the simple thing like kindness, mm. we, can see, we can see you if mm. you watch a movie or you watch the mm. news or you, you read an, about events to the world where you don't even meet the people. But you can, you can easily identify kind actions and unkind actions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so these uh, social skills uh, is one part of this, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, way towards creating uh, a new narrative or being, yeah. being part of that new narrative. Or yeah, it's because, because it, even here in Sweden, we 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 co of course understand there's a lot of unkindness in war zones and yeah. and dictatorships and stuff. But even here in Sweden. There's a lot of unkind actions. I'm a victim of it. I won't go into yeah. that. But uh -huh. you also been. You yeah. can see, you Everyone. can observe it in your daily life. Yeah. That was not the kind thing to do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, it's making conscious choices. Yeah. Uh, for example, kindness. Yeah. And so we are we are we are talking about some kind of manifest here. Also, we are mm. trying to to mm. ma ma manifesting different things. Mm. Uh, I mean. Uh, and also this could be guiding principles yeah. for us but uh, I mean, the most known and common known guiding principles mm. is uh, the ten commands in the bible yeah like it's been a long for a long long time and we saw that didn't lead to much kindness yeah, but, 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 on a but, systemic but, level at all but uh, maybe there was kindness in mm, every village but that's interesting because mm, mm. people are longing for uh, uh, directions and and, and principles mm. uh, uh, because they don't like to be told what to do mm. they like to understand uh, how they can can contrib contribute to uh, uh, a specific uh, uh, what to call it path that that leads them to a better world yeah or a, another society and we we say that that society and or world is more regenerative mm we we can't really define that what that is yeah. we can just say that that is closer to the ecological system that we are a part of yeah but but the, that's the thing that you said that some people actually like to be told what to do if you go back to the physical gym some people mm. go to the gym area where they lift weights on their own mm. that use the machine but i go i'm a part of the people who go to gym classes where there's an instruction that actually tells us what to do i want to be told exactly what to do in that class because uh, that then i don't have to motivate self motivate myself to put me through the pain that each ah, exercise is so i like to be told what mm. to do in the gym class but i don't like to be too be told what to do when i'm working so mm. even even people are different even i are different in uh, different mm. sets so mm. some people we want we want instructions because mm. we can't make thousands of choices every day some people we want instructions or some people we we do habitual most mm. of the things are habitual mm. but the things we have to change some of them we have to shoot for self and some of them we have to be told what to do i mean if we go back to leadership theories mm. yeah if you are a beginner mm. In a in a workplace, yeah. you need a lot of these uh, instructions, yeah. directives, yeah. Uh, people telling telling you what to do and how to do it, yeah. uh, because that's how we 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 start. Oh, you just you just mimic for the other people. Yeah, right? you're mimicking and and you uh, mm. and you're starting to learn the processes mm. and, mm. and 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 the different events that yeah. happens there. And when you are when you feel comfortable with that, and 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 then you can uh, expand your learning uh, and 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 in the end of that learning journey 
mm. uh, you can create your own um, uh, what do you call it you can create your own uh, way of learning uh, because this is both competences but it also how you uh, respond to change I would say uh, so it's not just it's just not mimicking. It's just 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 instructions. But mm. if because when you are when you have leaving that stage of learning and become a self learning individual, yeah, that is exploring yourself, mm. then you need to have new uh, competences, new ways of handling mm. this. Uh, what we call it, life. We can call it life. Yeah. And so, mm. so, and and I'm more interested in that part of this learning. Uh, yeah. And and you were you were talking a little about wisdom and wisdom gym. Yeah. And I think that correlates more to when you have left this earlier or these first steps of learning mm. that we all need to just get our footing right. Yeah, we need to do that because mm. we, mm. we we mimic in and we go to school and we we learn how to work and. And we and and but it's not enough because we are just we are just reproducing the same thing. Yeah. If we do that, mm. and when we're talking about creating a new narrative, new stories, a new society mm. that is regenerative or what what else what we can call mm. it, it's not enough. It's that's actually the totally opposite of reproducing the the society we have. Yeah, exactly. So so so, so how can we? Uh, how can we then, uh, what do you call it, uh, break that circle? Actually, uh, yeah. And 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 what's needed from a leadership perspective or um, from your self leadership perspective? Yeah. So, so one example that, that that I've been using is that we we all we have like uh, sports team and national teams that is good at ice hockey or. Or handball or curling or whatever and when they show up and compete for our our region or for our nation and stuff like that we expect them to be into the on training courses and like uh, uh, been to the gym a lot and even like individual people we can we can all see the sport the boxing gym we expect the boxer has been training stone hard for for months before a big uh, um, game uh, but the and we expect that, um, and if they don't do it, we will be outrageous. Mm. But if we think we have a national team of wisdom that is supposedly our highest leaders in mm. our city, region, or country, uh, they're supposed to be the wisest people around that can make the, the hard and tough choices for us. Have they been to any kind of wisdom gym at all, or do even, or do even remotely demand to them that they've been on a mm. six months retreats? in the mountain village and training sense making perspective mm. taking uh, or we will come into mm. that but mm. training what we will call wisdom skills mm. to understand mm. society so they can lead it in the right direction yeah from because from a leadership perspective this is now it's really now it become really interesting i would yeah. say because uh, in some countries you need to have uh, a certain age mm. to be to become a manager or leader mm. like yeah. I, i've just heard about it like yeah. in, in in germany you, uh, i heard that you, you need you, you you never hire young people becoming leaders or managers mm. because you need to have some experience some wisdom yeah experience and wisdom and wisdom so, they're connected but yeah. not exactly so, the same so so and 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 uh, and uh, and of course you can be wise as a person uh, even if you are not old, but mm. but with age, some experience and wisdom. Ah, there's a fantastic quote from Oscar Wilde: "With age comes wisdom, but sometimes age just comes alone." Ah. And and in that time, when they say like That's that really is good. coming even more true, the second part is mm. becoming truer and truer because mm. as as we see, our we have a super uh, large aging population that yeah. for the for the most part of humanity very few of us became wisdom, wisdom yeah. elders mm. but today a lot of us are elders but they're not wisdom yeah. elders they're mm. just elders mm. so so maybe uh, wisdom is not connected to age i'm not sure yeah it is it comes with age but it comes but, with age. but it doesn't come automatically we mm. have to actually All right. okay. train on it mm. and mm. that we come back to what how yeah. do we train wisdom mm. so 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 this is something you you need to uh, train during your life, yeah, in some way, 
to to expand your wisdom or, mm. or or so so that's so that's one thing that's important to understand here mm. uh, because there are some people I know some people say that you you shouldn't be a manager or leader if you haven't a, a really good self awareness mm. or maybe you have done your shadow work or whatever you think tells that you yeah. have so you don't have so many blind spots in your yeah <laughs> in, in your in your uh, what you call it. Um, Uh, you hurry window <laughs> uh, yeah because uh, no one is perfect we're mm. not we're all fallible but mm. we don't want to be super <laughs> super non-perfect mm. that is like a scale mm. Mm. <laughs> so so that's one thing here so so if i understand it right here to uh, mm. to become a better uh, leader of your own life and yourself mm. Mm. Uh, you need to understand yourself better yeah not just yourself but that's a, a very good starting point i will say understanding yourself mm. uh, and then under also understanding your part of a bigger system mm. and you can start you can start in the in the, in in your family or your community understand your role there and how to mm. c- contribute to the society and then that but but it but also uh, there might be some more things you need to think about here to becoming a good uh Uh, uh, leader of your own life. Yeah, and we talk we we talk a little about. I mentioned that what is perspective. Like that that's the one thing, one, one good part of being wisdom. That's having perspective, and perspective can be broken down to to understanding perspective, yours and your own. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's also like uh, what we call perspective making to like create change your own perspectives. So say, okay, I learned this. Okay, I understand more about this. And this is how it works. And then the hard part is perspective integration. That is to understand. Uh, what, uh, we understand in a small scale where perspective taking that we have different perspectives. But to understand in a larger scale that everyone's idea about their self of the world are different. Mm-hmm. Not totally different. There are similarities in culture and nations and places mm-hmm. people think similar like. But there, in every city there is a person that the opposite of mm. you in perspective and you have to understand that there that is that and the old the hard part of this is leadership to understand how do you make if say there's a hundred thousand people in this city how do you make them live together mm. with different perspective and not get on our knees and start uh, becoming po- polarized or mm. becoming unkind how do they mm. integrate and play nice together there was a g- some good uh, uh word about what called like uh, uh, perspective awareness or <laughs> perspective consciousness yeah or a pers- or a perspective in- include includingness or mm-hmm. uh, it's something you can include i mm. mean you have to have a perspective that includes other perspectives yeah uh, so that's meta perspective yeah. thinking yeah like so so it sits and then, then we, we call uh, someone call it bubble hopping or bubble surfing to understand that you live in a bubble where mm. most of the perspective are similar mm. to yours mm. and there's other bubbles where they're a little bit different there's mm. some bubbles they're a totally different mm. perspective so uh, and there's people that move between bubbles that can hold several perspectives as well mm. we, it's very advanced theories around it but to understand every We know that we're not word bubble and we understand that we live in a social bubble mm. at work. We mm. live in a social bubble on our social mm. media and internet. And we live in a social bubble in our f- our family, like the traditional bubble. I will try to continue to summarize all mm. the things we're saying here <laughs> because it will makes a little more mm. understandable and clear. So mm. so self-awareness is, is the key here, mm. the starting point. Yeah. And to become more self-aware... There are different ways of doing that, mm. I will say, uh, and and starting to uh, uh, be more self-aware is also un- uh, is also uh, 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 understanding your blind spots mm. or getting help with that. So we no, need to get we someone else to tell you about them. Tell them <laughs> get that yeah. means feedback. Yeah. And then and that means that you need to be in a safe place. A spe- where, safe. where they give kind feedback. Yeah. Of course yeah. you yeah. don't want no. too much unkind um, feedback. I mean you need to you need to create safe spaces. Yeah. With trust, mm. uh psychological and trustful spaces mm. that that we that we uh can be that we can be uh what we call it um uh 
that we can be ourselves and, mm. and 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 open for this feedback. So it will be so we'll be starting some. So it's become a learning mm. in, instead of something else about it. So that's one thing, uh, and we and you also bring up uh, training yourself in uh, having. Uh, better understanding of different perspectives mm. and how you can include other perspectives in your in your own awareness of perspectives mm. of, of the world. Yeah. So that's one. What they, can we call it competence? Or what yeah. can we call it? Yeah. So what I can tell, we're talking about the wisdom. Mm. And what what can you you and I and the listeners mm. be doing? Then is of course going to different kinds of wisdom gym. And during COVID now, Peter Lindbergh put together the STOA of a network of daily uh, Zoom calls. So diff- uh, we, d- we tried a lot of exercises online on Zoom and we brought our Glassbit game that is a, is a part, part, kind of an exercise as well to that. And, and I've been exploring Glassbit game as an exercise for four years now, once or twice per week. And... It doesn't include everything you need to learn with mm. somebody. It includes many of the the skills you can train in uh, in one exercise, like three for one. Mm. If you so it it um, it trains your sense making. How do you make sense of things? Mm-hmm. It it trains your meaning making. How what what is meaningful? And it also trains perspective because you get get to hear hear other people talking to you. And it trains your listening and talking skills and stuff like that. So so there are many you train. No, it's not perfect in any sense, but it's um, you train a lot of skills in one f- in one session. And I will say you're also training to uh, uh, controlling your ego. Yeah, controlling your ego. Because like, that, that is something I have thought about a lot of when we're talking mm-hmm. about leadership. Mm-hmm. Is that you need to uh, put your ego a little aside here to become this. Future, uh, this future leader, or yeah. we're calling talking about and, future and, and if you have have a large head, you have to start playing with it because mm. then, yeah, it, yeah. yeah, you need to uh, start playing it so that, so you're not a slave for your ego, so, ah, so yeah. that the ego instead can helping you mm. becoming a better leader. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, and that's totally two different uh, perspectives, a way of looking at mm. the ego, mm. uh, because you we need the ego for for uh, for surviving. Mm. I would no. I would th- say. But uh, uh, but there is yeah. In times of crisis, we look to strong e- e- leaders with strong egos, mm. but we want to have them the right kind of ego. Yeah, yeah. It can be a strong ego, but it was to have to be the kind, right kind. I will say we like leaders with uh, a lot of self awareness, mm. so he or she can use the ego in a way that suits the purpose. Ah. I would say, and not that's themselves. My, that's like, my, yeah, like but sometimes themselves. Also, because, yeah. because if to, to become a leader or manager, mm. uh, it's lonely at the top. Yeah, uh, that people say. So, mm. so it's also a way of survive as mm. as a leader or manager yeah. because you are alone. Yeah, and and uh, and uh, uh, that's why many people say, okay, I want, I I understand we need a change in the society, mm. and but I don't want to change myself. And I certainly don't want to lead a change. <laughs> exactly. Because leading change... It's scary. Leading change is the most scariest thing you can do mm. and the toughest work you can ever have. Yeah. Because... And that to become like a... a what do you mm. call it? A, a change uh, leader or change mm. manager, what you mm. call it today, or change agent or uh. like that. It's For me, it's more about self-awareness. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you need to understand people processes an event yeah <laughs> as a so there, there are a lot of different things you need to understand mm. and and you can only become a good leader in that sense if you train a lot yeah and you have to find mm. at least one but uh, preferably several wisdom students where you train different wisdom yeah. skills in that yeah. and mm. we mentioned the glass begins there is a session from yesterday I will link in the show note after you if you watch this not live. So you can find where we describe and practice this mm. class begin mm. exercise. So you want to see what it is. And that's just the start. You, can, you yeah. of course, have to find other things like shadow work. We don't, we don't touch upon mm. shadow work at all in our kind of that. But there's other thing, other types of wisdom gyms that you can find and where you can help you find. Just mm. means they're findable online if yeah. you want to explore this more. 
I think we need to summarize even more again, not yeah. just for the time. Yeah, but, we have but, ten, about but, 10 but, minutes, but so we it, have to start summarizing now. I think it's now, good yeah. to summarize things that we, uh, mm. that we can agree upon that is mm. important. Mm. Uh, and and uh, a lot of things we don't know, of no. course. Yeah. We, we can just say that probably this is things that is good as having a starting point. Mm. And we started in, in... And everything starts with yourself. Mm. I will say that's, that's, yeah. the, that's the starting point. Mm. So it's no meaning to look outside yourself as a starting point. Mm. You start with yourself. And we're talking about uh, making conscious choices, mm. eating right things. Yeah. And we don't say what you need to eat, but you need to take... Uh, you need to be... Uh, take you need, you need take to responsibility. Res take responsibility, reflecting over mm. uh, as much as you can. Mm. And uh, there is a lot of information that you can mm. get from different sources, what to eat and not to eat. And so, mm. so it's just do the yeah. best, yeah, do the best thing you can do. And there, there's different tactics to this. If you don't like want to cheat your own diet, you, 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 we, we go back to mimicking. You hang around people eating yeah. the right diet, and you, yeah. you eat yeah. like them. So, we, and it's super hard if you live in a small nuclear family. Mm. But then one of the person in the household has to be the one. Mm. Okay, today we eat this. So, so mm. taking charge, mm. you can you can delegate mm. that. You don't have to take charge yourself. You can delegate that to someone else in your family or yeah. your workplace. Mm. Okay, today we go to this restaurant instead. So mm. someone has to take charge in that I, process. I, I think you always need to go make it easiest way. Mm. We're not. I don't think we should start with restaurants and like that. We need mm. to start the daily yeah. exercising, eating. Yeah. I mean, we have a breakfast, we have lunch, we have dinner, mm. and 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 it's easy to get information about what is good to eat yeah. and then you can take next step and say ask yourself where does the food come from yeah and how does it affect the system is it full of pesticides yeah. has mm. it used up mm. a lot of mm. water and but, stuff but, like that but i don't think we should start in that no. uh, that point because it's better to say i would like to make it easy for me yeah mm. so eat healthy try to understand how to do that mm. understand where the food comes from Mm. and how it affects the system yeah. and yourself. Okay, so that's the first step. Mm. Okay. Good sleeping habits, it's actually a key. Yeah. We know that we need to sleep and have a good sleep. Yeah. We need to rest our body and our brain and, and, and there are a lot of other good things that happens to us if mm. we have a good sleeping habit. Yeah. So, so try and to one thing we can start doing is if you don't get eight hours sleep a night, you can start napping during the day. I, yeah. I, if, I've been napping for 10 years. Yeah, if that's possible in your, in yeah, your, or, in your way. Or change life. your workplace. There's a resting, there's a, in Sweden, you have to have a resting room in yeah. each workplace, but nobody uses it because there's stigma yeah. about using it. Definitely. And I mean, I mean we, 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 we can start in a good way. Yeah. One way is try to get, get at least uh, uh, make space for sleeping yeah. in your life and talk about it and talk about it yeah. and everything we talk about here is actually one thing we have forgot here is that i think one of the most important thing is that talk that we need to start to talk about these things yeah need to talk about that we have that we are afraid of or the society what yeah. happened we yeah. we don't we, we really don't feel uh uh, what, what can I say? We, we don't really know how to do it. We don't know mm. how the future look like mm. and everything. So, so mm. talking about it is what actually what can maybe yeah. that's the first step. Yeah, maybe because starting talk about it like uh, we do today. Yeah, like <laughs> we do today. It's also manifesting mm. that we need to do something about it. Okay, yeah. so we talk about food and sleep. What's the next? Food and sleep. Exercise. What's the ne exercise. Uh, physical exercise. We have talked about. Yeah, and and most of us understands that. And mm. and and. And, and it's it, not a mystery anymore. It's not a mystery. And you do it the way you want to do it. Yeah. Uh, find your style. Find your style. Make it a habit. Make it fun. Uh, uh, don't make... Find your motivator. Mm, Self-motivation. Yeah. Others. Competition yeah. motivation. If other you, motivating If you, you don't have anyone to, to mm. exercise with, do it yourself. But do it in a way that you feel excitement. Yeah. Mm. Because excitement is a very important thing yeah. in everything we do here. It's about... <laughs> we can do a whole talk about excitement. Yeah, we, maybe we should do that. I mean, yeah. eating the right food should also be a part of excitement. Yeah. It shouldn't be a dreadful pain. Yeah, exactly. Sleeping, yeah, that's also uh, excitement because you know you're doing good things for yourself. Yeah. Mm. And then starting to exercise in the thinking about the same mm. way okay then we have been been into 
other uh, exercising here. Yeah. We're talking about social exercising. We're talking about wisdom. Exercising, exercising cognitive, cognitive exercising. exercising. And some of these mm. uh, we are familiar with. We understand yeah. them. We have mm. trained them in school. Mm. But the, the things that we... that there is so much focus on the cognitive skills in the yeah. society. And, and we can see that there is a really huge lack of wisdom in the society yeah. today. It, maybe uh, John Levicki, if you check him out, he's called is the wisdom famine. Mm. And he, he asks his students, where do you go for knowledge? Where do you go for information? They're like internet mm. and library mm. and books. Where, where do you go for wisdom? And nobody knows. Nobody knows. Yeah. And we have tried to, to uh, bring up some ways of training or exercise wisdom mm. we're talking about wisdom gyms there mm. are many different ways we just doing... in the beginning yeah. we have just one prototype we need a lot of more prototype yeah. to see what work and what doesn't mm. so wisdom uh, wisdom is a, a, a big part of this uh, journey mm. uh, as to become a, a leader of your own life and yeah and, and, and then, then of course asking that question like i talked about the national team we we want to demand from our leaders that they go to a wisdom gym yeah. and they can show yeah. that what mm. type of mm. where did your mm. uh, so, retreat so there, take place or what what did you do there is really high demands on the mm. the future leaders mm. so future leadership is about uh, taking responsibility mm. making conscious choices mm. uh, being aware Great, as a, increasing your awareness. Yeah. Uh, is there anything more you would like to uh, to uh, to bring to the table about these uh, things that together uh, creates a new narrative? Yeah. One thing I can mention mm -hmm. shortly before that we talked about it in a session from last year, mm -hmm. but uh, um, Seth Godin has a very good saying about this. People like us do things like that. And that's connected to your identity. I am a cyclist. I cycle to work. I cycle to the store. I cycle everywhere because I am a cycle. It's an identity. I am a good eater because I eat good, but it's an identity. It's not something else uh, like force me to do, but it's part of me. I am the person who eats good. I am a good eater. Whatever the identity name or the role name or like the behavioral the name of the behavioral pattern is and that's been something we can explore much but because we don't we some things like cyclists we understand but good eater what is that is that an identity mm. and, and 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 if you bring wisdom how how would you how would you say that i'm a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm i'm a wisdom seeker oh, okay i'm a wisdom seeker or i'm a guru or am I'm no i'm <laughs> wisdom is not static you have okay. to it's a journey and you seek it so Wisdom seeker is perhaps one of the uh, yeah. uh, not the I seek new knowledge, new insights, yeah. new perspectives. Mm. Wisdom seeker. Mm. Mm. Maybe that should be uh, the final words from this uh, yeah. uh, talk. That uh, the future leadership. We're not gurus. We 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 seek it. It's a it's a constant process mm. and journey. So uh, the future leadership mm. is. It's some kind of uh, seeking wisdom. Yeah. And creating... Training it, understanding it, talking about it, exploring it, whatever you've... Mm. And whatever try, you're... And feeling excitement when you do it. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, and creating safe spaces so you feel comfortable, comfortable to do this. Yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, explore explore and uh, and create this new narrative a new story yeah. for a world or a society that is different more probably more regenerative mm. uh, but we don't really know we yet. don't really know but let's find out let's find out mm. thank you captain future uh, thank you Stian Lindquist <laughs> and uh, we say uh, thank you to the audience and uh, Maybe next year we are back That's here, one. back here again, <laughs> and uh, talk about uh, uh, more things we have learned uh, yeah. during the the year. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, and please reach out to us if you want to talk more.